Hello my loves and welcome to day 20 of our self-love challenge. Today I'm going to share with you a little self-love tapping exercise. Perhaps you are familiar with this technique. Uh, it is a technique that has really helped me along my journey. It's, in my opinion, one of the quickest and most efficient ways to release limiting beliefs and to step into your power. So the way this works, uh, I won't get into all the details, but it's basically the same idea as acupuncture and acupressure and yin yoga it works with the meridians in the body as many of you may know different uh, energy centers and meridians similar to nadis in indian go along the body kind of like veins like energetic veins so by tapping on them it's activating uh, similar in a way as we do with acupressure which is holding the point for a while and in yin yoga we're stretching that point so i'll just go quickly over the different points and then we'll begin and this might be confusing at first if this is your first time so just follow along and you can always come back to this video or even do more research on tapping if you'd like uh, if you feel called to this practice you can tap on any topic that you would like it is also reprogramming our subconscious mind with new higher vibrational thoughts and we begin by acknowledging the problem so we're not pushing it away so we will say the problem and say our limiting beliefs out loud first so the first point is the karate chop point just on the side of the hand and you're tapping it like this not too hard and not too lightly so intuitively you'll know how hard to tap and then after this for a moment we'll go up to the top of the head i use two hands some people only use one, but I prefer, prefer both. Top of the head, and then to just above the brows, the temples, under the eyes, just above the lip, right in the middle, and then under, and just under the collarbone. And then on the side where your bra strap would be. And I switch, once we do a round, I go to the other side. I notice most people just stay on one side, but I like to be balanced. And that's it, then we go back to here. Uh, sometimes I'll come here as well. So that's it. Uh, it's pretty simple. It's a little confusing to get the technique at first if you've never done it, but once you have it, you can pretty much do it with anything. <clears throat> So if we'd like to begin with the karate chop point. I know that I don't fully love myself yet. I'm repeating after me. But today I choose to show up for myself. Today I open to the possibility of fully loving and accepting myself. I know that I can rewrite my story. I know that I can love myself fully. I know I can be more gentle with myself. I acknowledge that I'm not stuck where I am. And moving to the top of the head. Sometimes it feels like I don't love myself. And sometimes I can be really hard on myself. I feel like everyone else has it figured out. I feel like I'm not enough. I feel like I'm not worthy. I feel like no matter what I do, I can't fit in and I'm just not enough. I hate that I have these feelings. I wish I could be more kind and loving to myself. 
I wish that I could completely love and accept myself on all levels. I know that these limiting beliefs are from my environment. I know that these beliefs are from society and what other people have said. Even though it's scary and I have a lot of resistance, I choose to rewrite my story. I know that hurt people hurt people. And I know that however someone else feels is just a reflection of their internal state. I know that other people's opinions about me have nothing to do with me. I'm ready to show up differently. I'm ready to rewrite my story. I'm ready to deeply love and respect myself. I know this won't happen overnight, but today I choose to show up and begin a new journey. A journey of fully loving and accepting myself on all levels. Even the shadow parts even the parts I hide away from others. I'm choosing to love those parts even more. Maybe even the most. Today I choose to love and accept myself. Today I choose to rewrite my story. Today I choose to stop being so hard on myself. I love myself. I fully love and accept all parts of myself. I know that I'm worthy and that I deserve to be here as much as anyone else. Today I release all limiting beliefs around my worth and my value. I know that I'm not my past. I choose to fully love and accept myself. I love myself. I love myself. I'm so proud of myself and everything that I've been through. I'm ready to fully shine my light. I know that I'm safe to shine my light fully. I know that I'm worthy and I know I have great value to offer the world. I release all thoughts holding me back. And today I love and accept myself fully. I deeply love, I deeply honor, 
and I fully accept myself. Placing your hands over your heart, take a deep breath in. Holding it at the top, filling up with love and lightness. And releasing, ah, releasing anything you're ready to let go of. We'll do that one more time, breathing into the heart and expanding. Let it all go. Ah, imagining all those limiting beliefs just releasing from the body. Ah. Have some water after this. Stay hydrated. This can get things moving within the body. It can bring things up, honoring whatever comes up. And I do encourage you to just to do this on your own to come up with your own script. Um, and yeah, I really hope this helps. I'm really excited for your journey. If you've taken this 21 day self love challenge, your journey after this, setting intentions, what you'd like to create with this new energy that has come up with you, uh, for you during this journey. And if you are a sister watching this in real time, I announced yesterday I'm holding a two hour workshop. It might even be longer uh, based on a new ebook that I just wrote called How to Be a Tantric Goddess. Check it out on my website, crystalarignani.com slash tantric dash goddess. There's limited spots and I really can't wait to connect with some of you there. It's gonna be an empowering, sensual, and sexy workshop. Thank you again, everyone who has done this 20 day journey with me. It's, I know that I'm on a totally different frequency than I was at the start and I'm very grateful for that. Sending so much love.